So here's a simple little tutorial on getting your M4A file inserted onto your page at an appropriate size. Um, so I've already got a head start here. I've uploaded my file already and it's here. It's this testing one.m4a. And of course you want double clicking the file inserts the file. You don't want to link to it if you want it to display right on the page. So I will double click on my file and I'm done with this window. Now um, I'm going to once it's on my page, if I save this page, and I'm sure you're probably seeing the same things, you get this type of thing. It plays. This is just a test podcast um, that I'm creating to show. It's a little tiny. So I'm going to go back to edit this page, and I'm going to click back on that file. You can see it just changes color a little bit when it's selected. And I'm going to click back on the image and file. Where am I going to click here? Here we go. I'm going to click on the television now, where you would insert YouTube video. And you can see right here, it says 300 by 50. Okay. I want to change it to, let's say, about dimension-wise. Your photos are about 300 by 300, but we want a little larger for the chapters to show up well. So I'm going to say 350, and this other 50, which is the big problem, I'm going to change to 350 as well. Now it's going to make an, a duplicate, I think, when I say OK. It puts a second one on the page. So I'm just going to use my arrow key to get my cursor between the two and just backspace and delete the first one. And I'll save. And now you can see it's a nice size. It's squares, 350 by 350. My chapters show up so I can navigate those. And um, this is just a test so podcast um, that I'm creating to show you how to resize your... So that's how you get your M4A file to be a right size or any other video file that you personally put on your page rather than embed from YouTube. All right. Good luck.